Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. This one's going up on a Saturday. So if you're enjoying your weekend, I got a trippy one for you today. Right now, the biggest, worst-kept secret in all of gaming has to be GTA 6. We all know that Rockstar is secretly working on it behind the scenes right now. But when will they officially announce it is coming out? It should be sometime soon. We'll get that grand reveal. You know we can't wait because GTA 6 is going back to Vice City. Back to the Grand Theft Auto roots, one of the best games in the series. There's no other city and no other game that is referenced more than Vice City right here in Grand Theft Auto 5. I'll show you the clues. Rockstar planted the seeds back in GTA 5 to let us know that we're going back to the Rockstar version of Florida. I mean, after all, it is home of the Florida man. Who else would make a better main protagonist? Quick shout out to all the subs, especially everybody who goes back to the days of GTA 5. Also, help out by hitting the like button. So I know if you've explored GTA 5 enough, you've come across clues to Vice City. Right here you can find a towel, I love Vice City. I haven't found any I love Las Venturas clues, which is the Rockstar Las Vegas. Or San Fierro, Rockstar San Francisco. It seems like all the references point us to one city, and that is Vice City. Now, a lot of the clues are in GTA Online, where Rockstar is constantly updating and that is a way for them to actually add Vice City references after the game has long been released, such as this one right here, a painting with the girl from the GTA Vice City cover. So why else would Rockstar reference that? You could also find Love Fist references, one of the most memorable aspects of that game. All of these different clues, especially here at the penthouse, seem to be a wink back to Vice City. We'll go back to the penthouse in a moment. But downstairs at the casino is even more Easter eggs, including the Vice City slot machine. And that's not all. Take a look at what it says on the bottom left. You're trippin'. You know we'll be trippin' when we go back to Vice City. The characters here at the slot machine even look like they might be in GTA 6 sometime in the future. So here's a signed football. It is autographed by none other than B.J. Smith. Of course, in Vice City, you can meet BJ and buy a car dealership from him, eventually unlocking the DeLorean, or of course the Deluxo here in Grand Theft Auto. And then you can purchase a Mini Hermes, one of the most iconic vehicles from Vice City. You can buy the miniature version right here at the casino. We're also repping the Love Fist V-neck t-shirt. We had to wear that, a clear reference back to Vice City again. Back up here at the penthouse, we have two paintings that also seem to give off that vibe, including this one. Does that look familiar to you? I swear, that could be a GTA 6 version of Candy Sucks. Will Candy even make a comeback for Grand Theft Auto 6? You can tell the V on the bottom right seems to have that same colorway that we find in Vice City. Why is Rockstar giving off so many clues? There's even a few things that I will not feature in today's episode, like a Love Fist guitar. But right here is an unusual piece of artwork. To me, it gives off some GTA 6 vibes. Perhaps South Beach. Let me know what you guys think. There's one more piece of artwork that you can find exclusively in the penthouse that is representing one of the biggest Easter eggs in Rockstar history. So if you go to the downtown area, you can find this building. You can actually jump through it, right through the window, to find a hidden room. Do you see that? That is an actual Easter egg. It's a chocolate Easter egg. And if you look closely, it says Happy Easter. You know Rockstar had to hide that somewhere within GTA 5. So if you take a closer look at this painting right here, it has an alien, a Bigfoot, the ghost that you can find on Mount Gordo, the Wolfman. But what is that to the far right? You see that on the shelf. That is the chocolate egg. It almost seems to represent... Most of the big Easter eggs that Rockstar's put in their Grand Theft Auto games. Well, there is the chocolate egg. You can even see it says Happy Easter. Rockstar put it in the game. Some of the most difficult missions from GTA Vice City were the assassination missions, which you normally would go up to a phone, it would be ringing, you answer, and that starts the mission. Well, if you look closely at the phone booths here in GTA 5, there is a sticker for pole position. Pole Position is the Gentleman's Club in Vice City, somewhere I've spent a lot of time. Here's another reference to B.J. Smith at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center and Park. So again, it is very hard to find a reference to San Fierro or Las Venturas. The Vice City is everywhere. Rockstar planting the seeds. 
I remember playing Vice City back on the PS2, avoiding the Cherry Popper mission. Sometimes it would glitch out. That was the ice cream truck. Well, here's a billboard, always on top, the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Company. Always on top. No way. So there's another reference. You know the Cherry Popper's coming back. One thing you could not find in Vice City was the internet. But it is in GTA 5, and I'm sure it'll come back for the sequel. Bring up the Dr. Friedlander website. Under typical conditions is Vice City Syndrome. Right in between anger issues and mustard delusion. What is Vice City Syndrome? I want it. There you have it, the many Easter eggs, references, and clues to Vice City that we found right here in Grand Theft Auto V. I'm sure there's more. Let us know if you find any. Keep in mind that back in GTA 3, Rockstar hinted that they would go to Miami and Vice City. And then in that game, they referenced California and GTA San Andreas, so they've done this before. They're letting us know that GTA 6 is going to Vice City. Again, it's one of the worst kept secrets in all of gaming, and Rockstar should be announcing it soon. Once again, hit the like button. It really helps out. We're going to have a live stream later on tonight. So if you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know as soon as we go live. Stay tuned. I'm working on another GTA 6 video, so watch out for that. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Until then, adios muchachos. And as always, stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?